I'm getting a puppy. What's up you guys? It's Brittany Nicole and I'm back again with another video. And today I have something really exciting to tell you guys. Come here. Come a little closer. I'm so, oh, I need a breather, okay. I'm so excited. Your girl is going to finally be a dog mom. So I wanted to come here and give you guys a little rundown on what I got for my little baby boy. I got a lot of stuff for him. I ordered everything online because I wanted to be prepared for him when he comes. I'm supposed to be picking him up this week, so I will have some vlogs coming to introduce you to him and everything like that. So make sure you subscribe down below and turn on that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at Mark for Life because I'm also gonna be posting a lot of pictures of him on my story and all over my Instagram. I already know it because I'm already obsessed with him and he's not even here yet. So today I have a puppy haul for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys everything I got for him and why I got it. So if you guys wanna know more about what I got him and why keep on watching first thing I got my baby boy is a little collar <laughs> so cute and tiny and a lightweight skinny leash for him to get used to going on walks and actually being on a leash when I have him I'm going to train him in a crate and I also have a play pin for him to attach them to the crate that way when I'm not at home he doesn't tear up the house and like pee and poop everywhere so I'm gonna train him on the leash every day when I bring him upstairs to my room and things like that I'm gonna have him on a leash that way he doesn't have free worm when you first get puppies they're not supposed to be put in very large areas they're supposed to be really close to you that way they can get trained easier so I just have this lightweight leash so that he doesn't really feel the weight of it too much on him he's gonna be a really tiny baby so I didn't want to get anything too big and then I also got him this collar I ordered him this really cute diamond um name tag for him his name is Kenzo it has on the back it has like all of my address information and my number and my boyfriend's number on it because we are going to be raising this puppy together so it's going to be so cute i'm so excited also got him a harness so when you have a small breed dog or any breed dog um they highly recommend you walk them on a harness and not a collar because when they're first learning how to walk they pull like they don't understand the the idea of walking on a leash and not pulling because they they're used to walking wherever they want to go so they're going to try to walk and then the leash is going to be there trying to hold them back and it's going to choke them when they're walking so i don't want to get any throat damage esophagus damage anything like that on my little baby so i got him this super cute fake burberry you know because he's gonna be his daddy he's gonna be so cute i'm gonna raise him to be a heartbreaker and none of y'all girls on campus are going to touch my dog you to touch my dog and be like no he bites i'm just kidding he's gonna be so cute and cuddly but i'm just super excited to calm down all right so i got him this really cute fake burberry little harness for him to walk on that way um it, he doesn't get choked when he's first learning how to walk on a collar or on a leash so his little body's gonna go in there like this and then you just attach the collar on the back and I got this on Amazon along with the collar and the leash. I got, excuse me, I got the name tag on Etsy. All right, I also got him all of these really cute toys that came in a bundle on Amazon. I thought they were going to be way bigger than this, but I'm happy that they're not. That way, his little butt and his little mouth can still play with it. So, I have this really small um, tug of war toy. Um, I read somewhere or I was watching a video somewhere that said tug of war toys are really good for puppies so that you could try to, when you're trying to teach them how to fetch, I definitely want to teach Kenzo how to fetch. So, when you throw it from a small distance to get it, they bring it back and then you reward them by like playing with them with the tug of war and then you throw it farther and have them keep bringing it back to you so I got him one of these lightweight little rope toys and I also heard this is really good for chewing and puppy is definitely teeth a lot so I got him this it came in the bundle then I got him this soft plush squeaky toy that looks like a little chicken I don't know why I did this to myself it's probably gonna be so annoying at night when I'm trying to sleep but it is just so stinking cute and I'm really excited for it 
in the same pack it came with this little zebra toy the set the, the feathers the wings on it are crunchy and they make a noise so that's gonna be good for him because dogs like hearing sounds like this when they chew so i got him that and then it also has a little squeaker in this tummy so it's super cute it also came with this cute little blue donut so adorable and it's small enough for his little bite to get around it and then i got him another rope toy for chewing another thing that came in the pack of toys was this super cute uh rope toy it comes with two little balls so it'll be fun for him to drag around and play with when he gets bigger i don't know if we'll be playing with this as much when he's so tiny maybe it might be too heavy for him i don't know but this is another rope toy that came in the set he has a lot of different toys to learn to play with and things like that i'm probably not going to give them all to him at one time i'll probably give him one or two and then so that he doesn't get bored and like see what toy he likes the most and yeah super cute I also got him some Nyla bones. Now, these are very important when you're trying to raise a puppy. Puppies are teething and they're gonna bite because they don't understand that they can't bite their moms and their dads. Like they're, they don't understand like, hey, I'm not supposed to chew on my human. So that's why I got him these Nyla bones. This one is like a chew treat. It is lamb and apple flavor. So it comes with three bones in the pack. I got this on Amazon as well. This is for the puppies. So the knobs on it are really good because it stimulates the gums when they're trying to chew and helps them with teething. And then this is for when he gets older and he's more of an aggressive chewer. That way he can still have something to chew on. He'll probably chew this one through by the time he gets his adult teeth. And then this is just a little treat bone. So as he licks and chews on it, it's going to stimulate him with flavor and it's going to be super fun for him to chew and the more he chews the more he's going to have a nice little tasty treat and the more he chews the less he's going to be chewing on me so i really recommend this um super good for when you're trying to make puppy i also got him these keys by the same brand nyla bone i had a puppy at home his name is patches i'll put, try to put some pictures in here of him he's super cute he's this fat little shit zoo and he's about 13 12 years old now he's back home with my parents but when he was a puppy he loved these teething rings they're like a rubbery they're kind of malleable but they're also hard at the same time so he loved chewing on these and it has different textures different textures on the bottom of the keys to kind of like stimulate him when he's chewing on his gums and it's super it's like a mix between hard and soft so when he chews it's gonna stimulate him and he has all these different ones to play with and carry and things like that it's just gonna be super fun for him and he can chew on these when he's teething and not me as well I've got him a lot of the chewing toys because I just don't want him to be biting on my friends and on me so I'm gonna give him other things and other options to chew on so when he tries biting on me I'll just put something else in his mouth you get what I mean I also got him this super cute and snuggly um fleece blanket um I don't know the brand but I got it on Amazon I'll try to link everything down below that I got for him but it is super soft and cuddly I'm gonna bring this with me when I pick him up on Wednesday so that he has something to lay on and be comfortable on the car ride home and yeah i also got him a crate this is his crate it's small because he's a smaller breed dog i'm not going to tell you what type of breed he is because i want you guys to guess down below and if you follow me on instagram you should already know so yeah this is the crate i got for him and i don't necessarily want to crate train him i don't want him to be in the crate a lot he'll probably be in his playpen a lot but say i have to run and do an run an errand i'll put him in the crate or when he goes to sleep i'll put him in the crate and like slowly introduce the crate but i don't want to be dependent on the crate because i just don't like dogs in crates all day i know it's like a training mechanism but i'm gonna see if we can do without the crate first and then i got him this little crate mat it's super soft and squishy for the bottom of his crate i didn't get him a dog bed yet because 
I feel like he's not really gonna need one until he's house trained and knows how to roam around and he'll have his own area in the house to land his bed. But for now, if he wants to take a nap, he can lay in his crate with the door open and that'll be like his bedroom. So this is what I got to the inside of the crate. It fits perfectly. And I got the the mat on Chewy as well, Chewy.com as well as the um the crate itself. And the bottom of the crate comes with a tray so that you can like say he has an accident, I can just throw the the mat in the wash and rinse out the bottom of the tray in case he has an accident and he won't be laying in his own filth. I also ordered these doggy bowls for him on Amazon. They're super cute. Um, they just look like this. They're small little silver bowls that come in and out of this plastic rubber thing so that you can clean them when need be. I wanted to get him a mat for the inside of the tray because I'm going to have all this stuff set up inside of his playpen. So, you know, puppies are really playful and they don't really understand that they shouldn't dump over their food. So, with this, he won't be able to, like, make a mess and spill his water and... He won't be able to like make a mess and spill his food and all of the mess will fall onto the mat and that has a rubber lip so that the mess won't get all over the floor. So I tried to think this out and be a good mom. So hopefully this works and hopefully he's big enough to fit his little face inside of this. If not, we'll just start off with like just laying the food on the floor and then having this water bowl just laying out and then eventually introduce him to the mat. Another thing you need when you're getting a puppy is treats. So the first treat I got is these puppy teething rings. They're super cute. I'm gonna show them. Show you. I've already opened them up, but this is another thing that I can give him to chew on when he's teething. It's just these little rings with flavor. What flavor is this? It doesn't really say what flavor it is, but it's just a dog treat and he can chew on it it's nice and soft but also kind of hard so that he can stimulate his gums and have a treat and have something to do when i don't really feel like messing with him but i don't want him to be locked up in his crate so he can play with this and tease then i also got him two different flavor puppy reward reward training treats i want to train him i want him to be a really well-trained dog i want to teach him how to sit lay down stay um i want to reward him when he does a good job using the bathroom outside of the house so i got him these bacon flavored um treats from chewy.com as well along with these um blue bits tasty chicken recipe small reward treats so when you're training a puppy you don't want to give them too big of treats so these small little treats will definitely be something good for him when i'm trying to train him i also got him this nature's miracle four in one honey stage scented shampoo and conditioner natural oatmeal um shampoo and conditioner for him it looks like this i read online that oatmeal is really good for dogs and puppy skin so their skin doesn't get all dried out when i get him it is fall approaching winter so i don't want his skin to get all dry and flaky i don't want him to scab up so i got him some oatmeal um shampoo so that his skin is all nice and moisturized in the winter and the last thing i have for him is in a hundred pack of puppy pads for him to pee on so i got these on amazon but i don't really know if i want to train him on the pad i think it's it's important to have these when you have a puppy because like you definitely need somewhere for the dog to pee like when i set up his playpen i'll probably line the bottom of it not put these in an area in the playpen for him to pee on them when i'm not home but i have it set up to where i want to train him to go outside and use the bathroom we have a fenced in backyard so i'll probably take him out on the leash and take him to pee outside every 45 minutes so that he can get used to knowing like hey i don't do my business in the house i do my business outside i feel like puppy pad training is kind of confusing for dogs because like you want to teach them to pee on the pad but then when they get older you want them to learn how to use the bathroom outside so you're trying to wean them off the pad to going outside and it's just too much so i want him to know 
know how to use the pads, but I want him to be dependent on going outside. So we're gonna try to train him to go outside and hopefully these pads will just be for the, the first few months when I'm trying to train him to not use the bathroom outside. So yeah, I don't think I have much more to get for him. This is all that I have for him for right now, but I definitely need to go to the store and get some puppy food. The breeder told me that he's currently on puppy chow, so I need to go get some of that before he comes back home. And I can't really think of anything else I need to get for him other than maybe a brush for when I want to wash him. I'll probably give him a bath the first day of him home because you know how puppies get that litter smell. So yeah, if you guys have any ideas or anything that you think that I should get for my little baby before he comes home let me know down below i would love to hear your thoughts i would love to hear your thoughts on what i should get for him i definitely am super excited about it and i cannot wait to go pick him up i'll definitely be vlogging my experience of being a new puppy mom so make sure you guys subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you guys can be updated on my journey and how it goes um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you guys are as excited about getting kenzo as i am so give this video a thumbs up if you're excited and don't forget to comment down below what breed do you think the dog is and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video all right bye